Okay, so my dock. I haven't always hit my dock. I actually used to leave my dock um, exposed all the time, so that way if I didn't hear it, I could see when I had a new email or see when I had a new alert badge. I'm finding that I'm getting a lot more done leaving it hidden, um, So and plus it's a little bit more minimal. Uh, people, whenever I show my desktop, people give me a lot of crap about my clutter and all my, my menu items and all my things, and it's like, whatever. Work how you want to work. I like to work with all this stuff. Um, normally I have about 20 windows open as well, so this is actually pretty clean. Uh, my absolute, absolute favorite apps in the entire world, and this is probably because of my job, is my uh, VPN tracker and, um, and my Apple Remote Desktop. Uh, remote Desktop is the best app that I, you can use as, as a as a service professional that uh, helps people with their computers. And I not only use this for helping them remotely, which is where the VPN tracker comes in, but I also use this at one of my clients that has a has a quarter mile, and I'm not exaggerating, their hallway with people on both ends of it is a quarter mile long. And so um, instead of trudging all the way up the hall and only to realize that I don't have their password and are not sitting at their desk, um, I can remotely access it and I can push files, I can remotely restart, I can check and see how long the computer's been up and running because I'd say probably 95% of the complaints I get, if um, you restart your computer, it'll fix it. So that is my absolute favorite app is Remote Desktop and VPN Tracker. Uh, mail, love Apple's Mail. Um, there is not much you can't do in Apple's Mail. And if you are cutting over from entourage to mail and you're not loving mail, ask me questions because I have found almost anything that you can do in entourage, you can do in mail. Of course, there's going to be a few things that some of you might have fun trying to stump me, um, but most of the things you can do in mail, plus it's really quick. I use Safari as my main browser. Keep Firefox as a backup. iChat's my my chat client of choice, address book, iCal, preview. I prefer preview over any Acrobat professional. You can now combine PDFs in preview since um, Leopard and now with Snow Leopard. You can also do annotations and markups in preview as well, um, starting at Leopard also. Uh, iTunes, iPhoto, let's see if that picture, look, there's the picture that downloaded from um, the iFi camera, just uh, loaded in. System preferences, 1Password. One 1Password one is my new favorite application. So for sites like YouTube, I actually have a business login and a personal login. And with 1Password, I can actually choose which login I want to, to use. So I can just fill and submit, or I can go to the fill and login. Actually, maybe I didn't save an extra one for this one, but um, for certain sites, I have multiple logins that I can choose from. Um, also works with my Apple IDs because I have a an Mac Fusion issued Apple ID that's specific for what I do for ordering parts and doing repairs, um, as well as a, a Apple ID that I had prior to that that I use for iTunes. So managing multiple logins for the same site is fantastic. Um, Socialite. I use Socialite for um, some of my light RSS, and I say light RSS as in these are probably the lamest RSS feeds you will ever see, hardly any useful tech-related anything in them. Um, LOL cats, <laughs> people of Walmart, uh, Photobomb, Auto Completely, uh, Funny Facebook, uh, Fails, um, Art of Trolling, I mean just the silliest list of RSS feeds you will ever find, but they make me happy, so I keep those in there. Uh, for serious news-related RSS, I actually use Google Reader, and not because I think it's a fantastic product, but because it ties into the back end of um, one of my WordPress widgets for sharing news on the MacFusion website. Um, other than that, I think Google Reader is kind of ugly, and I don't love it. I know some of you love it, and that's fine. Um, I'm actually not a huge, huge fan of RSS, but I can see where it benefits. Um, I actually like Twitter for, for a lot of my news-related items. Uh, Socialite will also uh, do your Facebook, so you can see all the new posts in Facebook, but it doesn't let you see uh, the responses or comments, so I, I stopped using it for that. 
Echophone. Echophone is my Twitter client of choice. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't love it. I love Tweety for the Mac, and I'm so looking forward to Tweety 2 that is coming out soon. Uh, Tweety 2 has a really nice, or Tweety has a really nice interface, but right now it doesn't support reply alls or list. And I'm, I'm actually liking list and reply alls. Um, I actually turned this off because of the growl notifications. Didn't want it, those popping up while I was trying to work. Um, but you can easily um, hit right click for reply all, retweet with comment, um, or I can go to some of my my various lists to see what's going on with a specific group of people. Like I can, I've got a list of um, Apple specialists from all over the U.S. the U.S. and I can go and see what they're talking about and get ideas for what I should be talking about. Uh, let's see, um, Quicksilver. Quicksilver basically isn't totally necessary, and I, I think I just keep it on here because I, I like it and I'm used to it, but pretty much you can do the same thing with Spotlight. So Quicksilver, I can search for uh, folders, applications, documents. Um, you just start typing, you hit Command Space. I actually use the Spotlight, the Spotlight Quick Key command, but you just hit the command space and start typing and then you can toggle down and open up what you want to open up. Uh, I've got um, Scan Snap Manager. That's for my little, um, I think it's Fujitsu Scan Snap. Uh, it's a nice little scanner that's quick and it, you can put multiple pages in there and scan, scan, scan. It's super easy. Um, I use Suitcase Fusion 2 and probably don't need to anymore these days, but um, my background is advertising, so I just have this thing where I feel like I need font management, even though I'm not really doing a lot of crazy things with fonts anymore. Uh, I had the Apple Script Editor open because I was playing around with some of the Apple Scripts earlier. Uh, ScreenFlow, text edit, and here's the Clips app. Clips app. Um, but I don't always keep a lot of stuff that I use in my doc, just because of the Quicksilver. Plus, I also am a huge fan of QuickKey, so. Command Shift A, that brings you right to all your apps. Command Shift U takes you to your utilities. So I mean, there's a lot of things that you can access really quickly with just your your keyboard. So I mean, for that, I don't necessarily keep everything in my dock that I would need to keep in my dock. But um, but that's about it. Um, I probably use for doing blog posts. I use Picturesque. Picturesque was in a Mac High bundle last year. And that allows me to do quick and easy little drop shadows and things on pictures. So if I was going to do, um, let's see, we'll do Command Shift 4. I'll just crop something. It's going to do a little screen capture. And then uh, picturesque. Drag it on there if I was going to show you a little. It's like, oh, that's a fancy, fancy little screen capture there. And you can... Easily round corners, don't round corners, drop shadows, make it really curved, hardly curved at all. I mean, it's really quick, really easy, and it will export as a PNG file so you can keep that transparency with the drop shadow. Um, but things like that I use for the blog a lot. Um, I think that's about it. Some other fun things I have in here are more eye chat effects. It got really glitchy with. Um, with Snow Leopard, but it has some extra like video effects for iChat and Photo Booth. Photo Booth's lots of fun. Um, I think that's it. I'll probably go ahead and stop this before I say um 25 times like I did in the last video. Hope you enjoyed taking a peek at what's in my computer. If you have any questions or want any more information or have any suggestions for more exciting videos than this, let me know and I'll get right to it.